Hey YouTube, Crow32215 here, and I'm going to give you a little help on how to jailbreak the iPod Touch 3.0 using Quick Freedom 2.0 Beta. So what you first want to do is open up any one of your browsers, Internet Explorer, Mozilla, or Google Chrome. I'm using Google Chrome, and I have a Windows Vista computer. So you type in Quick Freedom 2.0 Beta. Click that right there. I'm going to put all this in the, the, um, the description too. So you just click, it's the first one, and this is how it should look, look like. You should say Quick Freedom up top, in blue, and it should show like that little clock. So you scroll down until you see something that says Download Now. It will be right there. Download Now. And you just click that. And then it should start downloading. Save. While that's downloading, you're going to want to go. I'm going to put this in the description too. It's called HTTP. You know, I'm going to put this in the description saying so you know what to do. I'll just show you what to do. So you go down to where it says iPhone slash iPod Touch and scroll all the way down to where it says iPod Touch 2G in parentheses 3.0 slash 7A341. And you just download that. Click download on the side. And then let that load. This will take quite a while. All right. If the quick freedom is done, you're going to want to go to your documents. All right. Go to your documents. And then right here where it says downloads the file called downloads you click that and you scroll down to where you see something called set up or set up beta right there set up beta and you click run and allow next 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 create desktop icon check that you're really gonna need that wait until that's done exit out of Google Chrome your download will still be going so yeah close and cancel download and then uncheck to where it says launch quick freedom remember this this is real important if you want to do it you're gonna have to right click it run as administrator alright I'm gonna say that again right click it and run as administrator and click allow to run okay these are all the devices that you can do it with iPod Touch 1G, iPod Touch 2G, iPhone, and iPhone 3G. You, um, well, I'm using the iPod Touch 2G, so I'm going to click that. It's verifying your firmware automatically. And see, mine is verified. And then it says firmware verified. Press next. And you click next. You get to choose between um, if you want to get Cydia and IC. I just want Cydia. I don't really like IC. And it's launching the jailbreak so you have to wait until it's done it's waiting for DFU mode so what you do to put it in DFU, in DFU mode you turn it on you hold the power and home button for 10 seconds until it shuts down Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. let go of the power button and keep holding the home button until it makes that noise again Your iPod is now in DFU mode, and this is how it should look like. The screen will turn white, and it will say, Now jailbreaking on the top. Now just let it do what it has to do, and just wait for a few. It should say this, Downloading jailbreak data. And there, it is downloading the data. This will take quite a while. Put this right here. Right after this, it should show a pineapple running and then it should load. This also takes quite a while. The only reason you need the firmware is if you want to like restore it or anything. It will be downloading and it will show the pineapple and then right after that. It is now downloading the data. Sorry guys to keep you waiting that this takes like really a while. So yeah, this is how you jailbreak iPod Touch 3.0. 
3.0 firmware using Quick Freedom 2.0 beta. Downloading jailbreak data. And it should show this. It should show pineapple running, flashing nor, and then just wait for a few. The iPod will do what it has to do. And thank you for using Quick Freedom, 99% complete. And there's a DFU help button in case you haven't seen what I've done. DFU help. I'll post everything that I just did um, in the description. And basically, there you have. There you have it. You have jailbreak in your iPod Touch 3.0 using Quick Freedom 2.0 Beta. Alright, rebooting. It's rebooting. Uh, iTunes will pop up. And there you go, you've finished your breaking your iPod Touch 3.0 using Quick Freedom. Alright, bye YouTube.